He might have superstars for parents, but Deacon Philippi is forging his own unique path forward, just so long as his mom doesn't accidentally strand them in the wilderness during a family vacation. Deacon Philippi was born on October 23, 2003, and by 2007, he was already joining his dad, Ryan Philippi, on movie sets. He even got to borrow a piece of his dad's stop-loss wardrobe, a camo print bucket hat but he didn't exactly catch the acting bug at that age. As his mom Reese Witherspoon revealed to Express, he wants to be a pizza delivery boy. Not that there is anything wrong with that, but it's hard to see how it could be a career as such. Pizza Hut actually found out about this interview and saw it as a delicious marketing opportunity. So they wrote a letter offering Deacon his dream job that read, The same Pizza Hut drivers who deliver hot, fresh pizzas to your door have gone on to become successful businessmen, doctors, lawyers, and yes, even actors. The letter also promised Deacon that he would receive some swag to help him prepare for his future, including a toddler-sized delivery car, a Pizza Hut uniform, and Pizza Hut gift cards. No, 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 pizza's the hut. Ryan Philippi and Reese Witherspoon initiated divorce proceedings in 2006, and they soon started dating other actors. Witherspoon spent some time with her rendition co-star Jake Gyllenhaal, while Philippi hooked up with his stop-loss co-star Abby Cornish, and they eventually introduced their kids to their new partners. During a 2008 family hike in Malibu, Deacon was photographed sitting on Gyllenhaal's shoulders, and they were also spotted walking hand-in-hand -hand to grab some morning pastries and coffee. Deacon even hung out with Gyllenhaal's mom, Naomi Foner, as they were seen running together during a 5K race in Martha's Vineyard. As for Cornish, she reportedly spent Thanksgiving 2008 with Ryan and his kids. She was also spotted at one of Deacon's baseball games the following year. In early 2010, Reese Witherspoon began dating talent scout Jim Toth, and he quickly proved himself to be bona fide stepdad material. He attended one of Deacon's soccer games in May of that year, with the Spectator telling People magazine, Deacon came running over to Reese and Jim, and they both looked very proud. Then, in December 2010, Witherspoon and Toth announced that they were engaged. The ceremony was held in April 2011, with Deacon serving as the ring bearer. As an attendee recounted to People, the kids were included in everything. It was very sweet. They were super excited to to be part of their mom's day. In a September 2011 interview with Marie Claire, Witherspoon revealed, You know, somebody close to me once said, Oh, no man will ever accept your children. I was determined to find somebody who would make that not true. And I got lucky. I did. I got very lucky. And he's wonderful. And so wonderful with the children. I'm very blessed. It was just like every other mom trying to figure it out. In February 2015, Ryan Philippi posted a photo on Instagram of himself and Deacon hanging out inside the cockpit of a plane. A year later, Ryan told the News Journal of Delaware that his son had become rather fond of his father's home state. As he put it, I sometimes feel like Deacon wants to move to Delaware when he gets out of school or something. It makes me so happy. Ryan also explained to the same outlet a year earlier why Deacon and his sister enjoy visiting the Diamond State so much. As he explained, it's simpler in a way. Los Angeles is so chaotic, but when we are back home and they are with their cousins, it's comforting. I can tell. Deacon also has a soft spot in his heart for Tennessee. Not the state, but his younger brother, named Tennessee Toth, who was born in 2012. In 2015, their mom posted a since-deleted photo of the brothers hugging on Instagram, along with the caption, Someone has really excited his brother is home from camp. In 2016, Deacon Philippi turned 13 years old, graduated from elementary school, and went on an epic adventure with his mom. They jetted off to the wilderness of British Columbia, and Witherspoon chronicled the camping trip on social media. They had to cross a shallow river while they were horseback riding, and even encountered a bear catching its supper in the water. Witherspoon kept her fans updated via Snapchat, which used to play an important role in her relationship with her kids. As she told Today in 2016, I have two teenagers, and I've discovered that they will Snapchat me back, but they will not call me back. Deacon was clearly growing up fast, but he still had a special bond with his mom. He and his sister Ava were spotted jogging with their mom one day in 2016. And that December, Witherspoon spoke with People magazine about what the holiday season is like in her house. As she revealed, I forgot the advent calendars this year, and Deacon was like, Mom, where are they? I didn't realize how important they were to him. In 2017, Deacon Philippi turned 14, and he again went on a Canadian adventure with his mom. During an appearance on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, Witherspoon revealed that they decided to make camping together an annual event, and their 2017 trip was quite the eventful one. Deacon was keen on going kayaking, although his mom was a little more reluctant. However, their guide assured her that it was impossible to roll their kayak in the freezing water. Alas, as Witherspoon revealed, what did I do five minutes into it? Rolled us right into the water. Witherspoon explained that their kayak hit a tree 
tree, which she proceeded to grab onto, which caused the kayak to capsize. She then started screaming for her teenage son to help her out. Fortunately for Deacon, his other outings with his parents that year proved to be much less dangerous, such as cheering on the Philadelphia Eagles with his dad and attending a Los Angeles Clippers basketball game with his mom. I'm just looking for a good game. During a 2019 appearance on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, Reese Witherspoon revealed that she was teaching her son Deacon how to drive. However, she also admitted that she probably wasn't the best instructor. As she put it, he's a good driver. He's actually a better driver than I am. I get distracted a lot because I see cute dogs. Then the roles of student and teacher were reversed when Deacon was tasked with schooling his mom about TikTok. Some teenagers might die of embarrassment if their parents got on TikTok, but Deacon chose to instead be sweetly encouraging to his mom. He did, however, say no a lot while she attempted to show off some of her best dance moves. Witherspoon was then able to teach Jimmy Fallon the TikTok woe when she stopped by The Tonight Show. It's like, like you're driving a car. All right, that's, that's, the way, that's how you okay. hit the woe. Uh, uh, and apparently Deacon's mom isn't his only hip and happening parent, as his dad took him to the 2019 Firefly Music Festival, where they enjoyed the likes of Travis Scott and Brockhampton. When he was 16, Deacon Phillippe made his then-romance Instagram official in April 2020 by sharing a birthday tribute to his girlfriend, Marina de Grease. As he declared in the caption, "'Happy birthday to the most amazing girl I know. I love you more every day.'" In the comments, Deacon's parents let everyone know that Marina had earned their seal of approval by also wishing her a happy birthday. The following year, Deacon and Marina joined his sister Ava and Ava's boyfriend Owen on a sun-soaked getaway. Deacon shared a photo of himself and Marina posing together on the beach along with the caption, I'm so lucky, man. Deacon also gushed over his girlfriend in a 2021 Valentine's Day post on his Instagram story as he wrote, I love you more than anything. You make me so happy. The couple also attended homecoming together and celebrated their second second anniversary that same year. Alas, it seems that this relationship may not have been fated to last forever, as all traces of Marina have since been wiped from Deacon's Instagram. Reese Witherspoon got to play the role of Very Proud Mother in 2020. That was when a 17-year-old Deacon Phillippe decided to pursue a career as a music producer. He teamed up with vocalist Nina Nesbitt for his first single, Long Run. When he dropped the track, his mom assumed the role of hype woman. As she wrote on Instagram, it's the perfect summer bop with a sick beat and dope drops. Is that what the kids say? Deacon also worked with some pretty big names for his second release, Love for the Summer. It was penned by country music superstar Kelsey Ballerini and performed by social media influencer influencer Lauren Gray. Deacon's musical pursuits landed him an interview with Billboard, in which he revealed that he learned how to create EDM beats from YouTube. He also noted that he was making the most of the COVID-19 lockdown by expanding his musical horizons. As he explained, I've been using this time to perfect my skills and work on mastering a lot of production stuff. I learned to DJ, which is quite a process, and I also started learning the ukulele. Deacon also shared that his supportive mom was letting him record music at her house, and he revealed that one of his biggest musical inspirations was none other than Johnny Cash, which makes sense when you consider that his mom won an Oscar for playing June Carter Cash. He also told Interview Magazine that his dad had taught him a few music production basics. In 2021, Diane Keaton paid Deacon Phillippe a pretty big compliment when she mistook him for none other than Leonardo DiCaprio. She was narrating a tribute on Instagram to male beauty that opened with a black and white close-up of Deacon that she thought was somebody else. Talk about beauty, Leonardo DiCaprio. Give me a break, I knew him when he was a kid. Deacon actually did look remarkably like a young DiCaprio, but Reese Witherspoon made sure to set Keaton straight by commenting, Diane, the first one is my son. Keaton then replied with a trio of flushed face emojis. She later addressed her mistake during a May 2022 appearance on The Ellen DeGeneres Show. After once again admiring Philippe's photo, she said, Whoops, but look at him. I mean, that's gorgeous. How old is he now? DeGeneres then quipped, Too young for you. To answer Keaton's question, Deacon turned 18 years old in October 2021. On his birthday that year, his dad posted some pictures on Instagram for fans to decide which of his parents he resembles the most. He told E! News that he thinks Deacon looks more like his mom, while Witherspoon wrote him a tribute that said, One day he was trading Pokemon cards, singing Bruno Mars songs, and playing American Ninja Warrior in the backyard. The next day, he is taller than me, cooking the family steaks on the grill. Deacon Phillippe joined the family business in 2022 when Mindy Kaling offered him the opportunity to appear on the Netflix sitcom Never Have I Ever. His mom had mentioned to Kaling that he wanted to give acting a shot, and in a stroke of luck, there was a guest star role available that happened to be a good fit. 
As Kayling told Variety, he's obviously so talented and he's great looking, and we just thought he would be great and he was excited to come and do it. He's just such a well-raised kid. He's so talented. He's so funny and fit in perfectly with the cast. In another interview with E! News, Kayling praised Deacon for his excellent manners and possessing the same warmth as his mother. Despite all the praise he received, it doesn't sound like Deacon is going to start pursuing acting as a full-time career anytime soon. As his dad revealed to Entertainment Tonight, he's about to go to college in New York for music. That's his primary focus. He's actually dropping a mixtape on SoundCloud. It's incredible. I'm so excited for people to hear. It's really good stuff. I'm super proud.